What's going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create the flicker text effect inside of Final Cut Pro 10 and this could be easily done by anyone. So what you guys saw in the beginning of the clip was the text and to do that, it's very simple. Go to your timeline and make sure you zoom in so you can see what you're doing and go to your title or your text. Right click and go to show video animation and that's going to bring up a window. Go ahead and where it says compositing opacity, just double click on that and that's going to bring up a line right here that controls the opacity of the text or the title. And this is what we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it from the beginning. So you can see that it flickers in and it flickers out. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use some keyframing techniques. So to do that, all you have to do is make sure you zoom in all the way so you can see the frames in each uh, inside of the in the timeline and go over to the inspector here by clicking this little button here now this may be different depending on which version of Final Cut you're using so go over to the top where it says video so if you're in text just go over to the next tab which should be video go down to where it says compositing and I'm gonna go ahead and reset this so it's back to normal so there should be nothing here it should be a straight line all across first of all as you can see when we play the footage here it just starts on that thing, and that's what we want but we want it to flicker in and flicker out in the very beginning of the text so to do this it's very simple go to compositing and we're gonna add a keyframe we're gonna add three keyframes so click this little button here it's a little plus icon and make sure you're on the very beginning of the clip and that's gonna add this right here it's like a little orange square or triangle go two frames in so one two and then right here should be good add another keyframe right there and then go two frames in. So one, two, and three. Uh, so there. So now you should have one, two, three keyframes. So now all we want to do is from 100%, we're going to go all the way down to 0%. So it kind of fades out very quickly. And then it goes all the way back to 100% in the next two frames. So now if we play it from the beginning, you can see that it flickers and that's what we want and to do it on the end is very simple it's pretty much the same thing but in reverse so click on this make sure you're on the very end of the text or the title go back to compositing and next to opacity click this little plus icon to add the first keyframe go two frames in so right here click the plus icon and if you do that normally it adds it right here because it was uh, on this key on this frame so press command Z and you want to do it on this frame here so click plus and that will add it here and do that again and click plus it should automatically snap so now you have three keyframes so one two and three so now do the same thing right in the middle the middle keyframe we're going to drag that down to zero percent so it should be 100 percent and then it's going to it's going to go down to zero percent and then it's going to go back up at 100 percent so you know that's how the flicker effect is pretty much done so now if you play it from the very beginning let me go ahead and zoom out so you can see how it works so if I push play and that's all you have to do it's very easy and simple and that's pretty much what keyframing is on text so I did the same thing over on the Vegas clip here which is somewhere around here once I find it here we go so it's a little bit shorter, but let me go ahead and play it so you can see what it is. Now, keep in mind, if you shorten up the text or the title, the effect will be gone. So if I push play, see how it just, just disappears. So what you want to go ahead and do is just do the same thing. Right click on the text and go to show video animation. Open up the compositing opacity. So as you can see, if I were to, you know, make this shorter, it it takes away the effect so all you have to do is before you shorten the clip drag this like I don't know two frames in and then drag that like this and then the next keyframe here you also want to zoom in so you know what you're doing so add this keyframe make sure you don't have both of them selected you will know that you'll have it selected once it turns orange so I'm gonna just drag that here 
So now I could freely shorten the clip and it won't get rid of it. Make sure when you shorten it, it's not like this because if you do that, it's gonna look like this. It just stays at 100% for the next frame. So we want the opacity to end at the very last frame. So if we, it just disappears. And that's what we want, that's the effect. So if this video helped you in any way, please, please leave a rating below in the rating section. Leave a comment for a video idea or just, you know, a simple hi. And I will get to you as soon as possible if I can, if I have time. And uh, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out and have a great day.